Squoosh. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome to this episode of Grant Bakes Uncut. Today I'll be making strawberry shortcake from start to finish without stopping. Stick with me. You can watch this video later and make strawberry shortcake whenever you want, or you can watch along with me, pause, and bake with me. Whatever you want to do. Let's make some strawberry shortcake. So, in the way I'm doing it today, I'm going to do a classic kind of American style strawberry shortcake with like a sweetened flaky Larry biscuit. That's going to be the base. And then some macerated sugary syrupy strawberries that are going to go on top of that. And then on top of all that is going to be some homemade whipped cream. So let's start with the biscuits. I'm going to get some hardware here. Mixing bowl. and some all-purpose flour. We're gonna start with two cups of all-purpose flour directly into the mixing bowl. There we go, that's two cups. And you can get all the ingredients um, in the description. I'm gonna include all those there in both volume um, ingredients as well as in grams. So if you like to use grams, I'm gonna have that for you in the description as well. Two cups of all-purpose flour, followed by one tablespoon of baking powder. Okay, baking powder. That's gonna be one teaspoon of salt. And then to finish off the dry ingredients, we're gonna use one teaspoon of sugar, just regular white sugar. And if you're a baking person, then you probably think that sugar is a wet ingredient. But as Chef John says, if you can't take a bath in it, it's not a wet ingredient. So this is going with the dry mix today. And just kind of mix all of those dry ingredients together. All right, perfect. Before I get chopping the butter to put into this, I wanna go ahead and make the wet ingredients. So let me get <laughs> something to put these wet ingredients in. We're gonna go ahead with one cup of milk. Dry measuring cup, wet ingredient. <laughs> Anyway, call the police, whatever you wanna do. And, okay, I guess I guess that was it for my wet ingredients, just one cup of milk. All right, didn't really need to get the separate container there. One cup of milk ready to go. And I'm gonna get the butter. Um, so for these biscuits, it's a sweetened biscuit, but you still want those flaky layers that come with a regular, like a Southern style buttermilk biscuit or something like that. And that, those flaky layers come from the butter. So what we're gonna do is this is cold butter straight from the fridge. And you can cut the butter into your dry ingredients using a pastry cutter or even using, some people like to use a, what are those called? Food processor. But what I'm gonna do, I just think it's super easy. But I need my knife. use a butter knife. <laughs> butter knife. <laughs> That's why they call it that. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this into tiny cubes. All right. I'm using a whole stick of butter that is however many grams. I think like 114 grams or something like that. Cutting the butter into three, two times. And then just gonna chop all of these into tiny little cubes, like pea-sized little chunks. And I'm not doing this the prettiest way possible, but it works. We're cooking at home, cooking with Grant. Grant bakes, uncut. Oh, 
All right, don't know if I said this, but this is straight from the fridge, so my butter is pretty cold, and you want it to be as cold as possible when you're mixing it in to your dry ingredients because you don't want this butter to start melting. You want it to start melting the moment it hits the oven. That's what's gonna create uh, those kind of airy pockets in the biscuit. That's what's gonna make it flaky. So just all of that stick of butter into the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna mix it with my hand just to kind of coat all of the flour or coat all of the butter with flour, rather. Okay, so right now we've got these big chunks, so those cubes of butter. I'm just gonna kind of break those with my fingers. Try to break like every piece in half. And if you do that, your butter should be about the right size. If you're using a pastry cutter or a blender, food processor, food processor or something like that, you're gonna get much smaller chunks, but I like doing it with my hands this way. Oh, Grant Bakes, uncut, mistake number one. Gotta preheat the oven. We're gonna preheat the oven to 475 and hope it preheats in time. Here we go. <laughs> Meant to say 450 Fahrenheit, something Celsius. Preheat your oven to 450 Fahrenheit, something Celsius. All right, all the butter is cut in, mixed into the wet, in or the dry ingredients. It's time to make this into a dough. Take that cup of butter, which you transferred to a different container for no reason. Pour it into the dry ingredients. All right, we don't want to. We don't want to use our hands for this. Because if you know anything about Grand, it's that he doesn't really like to get his hands that dirty, if at all possible. So mix the milk into the flour mixture just like this. Now with biscuits, unlike bread, you don't want to develop gluten, so you don't want to over mix this. So just mix it until it comes together into a dough like that. I gotta ignore all my bread gluten development instincts. Okay. And this is a little wet for me, so I probably undermeasured when I did those two cups of flour, which is why you should use a scale for most things. But I'm just going to add a little bit extra flour. Mix it around. That's about right. All right, so I'm going to flour my surface with just a little extra flour. All right. And then turn out the dough onto that surface. Okay, once I've got the dough, I'm gonna punch it down just a little bit into kind of this circle, almost a square. And you could make biscuits right from this. You could just cut this into whatever shape you're making and have your biscuits. But what I'm gonna do is actually try to create some layers um, in these biscuits. And how I want to do that is by cutting this into four pretty equal pieces. I'm going to go one layer here, another layer here, another layer here. Now what I'm going to do, no rolling pin. Just squeeze it down. <laughs> squeeze it down just like it was before. So now that's created four different layers. And I'm gonna do that one more time. A little extra dusting of flour. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. All right, that's four. Squeeze it down with your hand. And make sure you press it down to precisely that high. Extremely precise. All right, so biscuits, these are now ready to shape. 
and then bake once the oven preheats. So you can shape your biscuits in circles. You can cut them out with a little disc or a biscuit cutter, um, just like British scones, but I'm gonna go ahead. It's already in a square. I don't like cutting in circles because then you always have those extra scraps that you have to reshape and it feels a little bit like the last one's never as good as the other one. So, oh, check it out, get a close up. Look at all those little butter pieces. Those are gonna make nice, nice flaky bits. We are going to cut this into four equal biscuits. Okay, so should ideally have layer after layer in there when we take them out of the oven. It's a little sticky. All right, so I'm not gonna move these to a baking sheet that I have aligned with this Silpat like silicone liner. You can line yours with parchment paper or you can just grease the baking sheet, whatever you wanna do. Just transfer the biscuits. Okay, and these are gonna be shortcake. Um, it's about two more minutes until the oven preheats, so uh, we're gonna just speed that process up. Actually, no, we're not gonna speed anything up because we can get started on our strawberries. Move all of this out of the way. Remember to clean as you go. Perfect. All right, so the strawberry topping for strawberry shortcake, I'm gonna clean my hands because that would be gross if there was flour in the macerated strawberries. All right, the strawberry topping for strawberry shortcake is pretty much strawberries that are sweetened and they're like sitting in their own juices. That's kind of what macerating means, I believe. So all we're gonna do is kind of cut all the green parts off of these strawberries. We're gonna slice them up and we're gonna let them sit in a bowl with some sugar and it's gonna create just like a strawberry sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all of the greens on these strawberries and face them bottoms down. Oops, one more. Okay. Once you've got all the green parts off your strawberries, you can throw these away or don't. You can compost these or even just blend them up into a smoothie. I've done that before. It's all right, you don't even notice it. You don't like that idea? I did it once, you didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. All right, all the green parts are gone. Now with all these strawberries, slice them up into, what do we call that? Slices like that. That'll be perfect, little slices for on top of the strawberry shortcake. All right, we've got one pound of strawberries. We're gonna move those to a little bowl. And you don't need to add any liquid to this to get them into a nice sauce. All we're gonna add is two carefully measured tablespoons of sugar. Like I said, two tablespoons exactly. All right, and the sugar is just gonna mix and do its magic with these strawberries. And in 15 minutes to 30 minutes, they're gonna be nice and juicy. You could, if you would add anything else, anything a little more foody, you could add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. That'll kind of give them 
acidity, kind of brighten them up a little bit, but just using sugar is fine. Uh, you don't need anything else. I'm gonna move these to the fridge and just let them macerate in the fridge. By the time the biscuits are done baking and the whipped cream is made, those strawberries are gonna be perfect. They're gonna be perfect, nice, juicy, hopefully a little syrupy, and our strawberries are gonna be ready to go. The oven is about at 450, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the biscuits in. Again, bake these at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes.